This is the next part of uh, updating the kitchen here. And here I'm uh, getting ready for the granite countertops. I'm actually moving the cabinets out six inches to get six inch wider countertops. So pretty much I started by removing, uh, started on this one end with this one little cabinet. And I started by removing the old countertop, just two screws holding that down and then pulling the cabinet out. And um, there you can see the bamboo flooring was put in in front of the cabinets. And actually the um, counters were a little bit low because of that. And it also blocked in the uh, dishwasher and stuff. So I'm going through now and I'm actually putting, you can see I'm putting uh, strips of leftover bamboo in there to bring the cabinets back up to the floor level. Plus I'm making spacers or plywood boxes and whatnot I'm making to um, just fill out behind them and have the cabinets be fastened uh, solidly to the wall so that they can withstand the weight of the granite. Now, you can see these cabinets are not really the highest quality cabinets, but you know, I decided to use, reuse them and um, get everything. biggest problem is getting everything leveled up on a job like this. And I actually wound up using this little Wixie level. It's the most accurate one that I have to make sure everything was really perfect when it was done. So when you do a job like this, you want to make sure you have a bucket of uh, old wood shingles laying around too because you really need a lot of them for getting the shimming and you get rid of the rocking and to make sure everything is really nice and solid for the granite so pretty much there you can see I um, built kind of like a box frame for behind each of them to space them out everything's screwed and glued together and then I'm just going back here and I'm uh, gluing and screwing the top onto it and uh, finding out that this is really like uh, giving me a real sturdy base and um, you know a good flat starting point for where the granite's going to go so you can see they're exactly six inches wide i built them just to just to get the extra six inches of counter space well which actually will give us over 20 percent more counter in um you know with just very few changes i got a nice flat um sheet of cabinet grade uh three quarter inch plywood made with poplar i think it is at home depot to make sure i had some nice straight pieces to start out working with so this this is about the messiest part of the job that I started now so got that in and then I had to move on and there you can see I had to move the actual stove bracket out and put some spacers to get that up to get that at the proper level now so got that first cabinet pretty much all leveled up and ready to go and now it's time to rip the countertops off and start on the other side and here I just took a shot. You can see there's a little bit of sun in the room now. You can see that color of the paint. It looked like a yellow in that last video that I made, but it really isn't. Um, and so the next thing was disconnect the dishwasher and pull that out. And I actually had to pry up the uh, front of the countertop off the cabinets to get it out just because that bamboo flooring was um, sticking up in front of it. And I guess this is a common problem when people put new flooring in their homes. So I did I did get that out and then I decided to rip it apart and see why it was leaking years ago. And I pulled the inner panel off the door and in between the inner panel and the door you can see there there's like all that soap that had actually um, corroded through the bottom of the door and created a leak. So these things were you know really poorly made back then I guess. So there it is I got the um, the next section I got that starting to build that back up and stuff. In the meantime, my wife went down to Costco, bought a new toaster and um, some new new set of pots and pans to go with their new kitchen here with the um, that bonus check that you get from the charge card. And there you can see the um, there's the granite that we chose, and uh, you can see how good it goes with the paint there. So next thing is to um, go through and start ripping out these next two cabinets. They're um, there's very few screws holding them in there, so they, you know, it's kind of real easy to get them out. They weren't really perfectly level, and they weren't really screwed in good, so I'm glad I went through and did this. So I got them out, and then um, this one in the middle here, the sink cabinet, actually gave me a problem because the pipes were drilled up through the bottom of the cabinet, and I really didn't want to make any changes to plumbing or cut pipes or anything like that, so... What I wound up doing is taking that little um, vibrating tool that I've got from Harbor Freight and just cutting out the area around the pipe so I could pull the cabinet forward and um, not have to mess with them. It was the easiest way to avoid any plumbing. 
So I get that all ripped out and cleaned up and um, you can see I've got to build that all up there with the bamboo too and there's also a heat register underneath there that I have to put some sheet metal to bring that out further. And then I got another section of that box made up and starting to install it now and making sure everything across the um, whole end of the cabinet, all the cabinets here is perfectly level. And the same thing, um, all these boxes actually had um, several screws put into each stud. I used like those two and a half inch Craig um, outdoor coated screws for it. And they hold really good. So, you know, this is really going to be solidly mounted now and held in place. Then I had to go back and do some patching on the cabinets where they weren't, where the glue joints had come apart on some of them and stuff. So... And some up and down, some vertical pieces to divide off the different box sections uh, so that they'd be all blocked off individually again. So I went back in there and you can kind of see how they all fit in there. Now it actually did take me two days to get these things all spaced out and everything. And there's that last box section that's going across the back there. And I made some spaces for the dishwasher. I don't know if it's best to have it in or out when the granite goes on. So I'm just going to wait and see. Um, dishwasher should be here tomorrow. And um, luckily I had some. You can see in the back corner there. I had some leftover Wayne's coating. Two pieces that slid right in there and fit perfect. Um, so that wasn't a problem. They were finished at the time the other was put up. So um, that all went together. And I still have a mess in the cabinet there. Um, down in the bottom. But pretty much everything here you can see now is really it's um, perfectly level, all shimmed up level, and um, everything's been reinforced and fixed. And trying to put some insulation on the piping and stuff as I go along, and um, getting that dishwasher tube up high, the drain tube, so it's got a loop that goes up high. And then I had to tear out the old window sill, and there's going to be a new granite window sill made that goes in there, so I had to make sure everything fit in there. Um, that was a pretty easy job, just a couple big nails I had to cut and then I was at my local dollar store and they had a pallet of this um, laminate flooring that I bought a couple pieces it was all broken open um, boxes of it I think it was from Home Depot leftovers or something and they were selling it for a dollar a piece so I did find 15 pieces that matched to um, allow me to do the uh, inside of my sink cabinet there to straighten all the rest of that mess up that I had left I mean it was really a mess anyway so um before I started so this stuff was it's all that click and lock stuff I think it's a pretty good brand but all the packaging was gone from it the pieces were just laying on a pallet all different colors and stuff um, my dollar store buys closeouts like that from Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff like that so you never know what you're gonna find but luckily I found this and um, it did take a little bit of fiddling to fit it in around the pipes and get it to all bend and lock and twist in the cabinet to um, to get everything properly together but um a little bit it wound up actually this wound up taking a half a day by the time i got the whole thing coated i hate to admit it but um it was you know it was pretty pretty much straightforward just cut everything and get it as close to the pipes as you can to still allow room for it to um to twist up and lock and work around it and put some pipe insulation in and stuff and then I let the bottom just float and uh, just in case I ever have to replace it again. And then the sides I just decided to um, use some of that uh, low VOC construction adhesive um, to put a little bit of that on the back of the, each piece and stuck it in place. And that stuff is really great because it does stick good and it, it like grabs and holds everything up. And um, basically it's got zero smell to it so um, it does work out good for us. So I, um, you know, it's just a matter of going up and down and cutting the pieces and fitting them and then just putting a little bit of glue on them and um, just sticking them up in place. I never had messed with this stuff before and in the end it turned out that it was real easy to get everything to um, lock together and lock in place and um, I was able to get the cabinet really uh, pretty much perfectly lined so it looked like a new cabinet. There you can see I got all the sides, the back, the bottom, and everything done. I'm going to go back and put a little bead of silicone around the, all the seams on the edge, on the corners. But um, everything's insulated, all the pipes and stuff all ready to go for the um, when the new sink gets put in. 
Then I ordered a um, shield for the wall from Home Depot. It's one of those stainless steel she shields to match a stove. And I couldn't believe the size of the box I shipped it in. The box was uh, three feet tall by a foot wide by, you know, about two feet the other way. And um, it was just humongous. And they had that thing packed in there good so it wouldn't get bent, I guess. And um, I was real happy the way that they uh, they packed it up and shipped it. Now it's time to take the range the range hood out now. I had ordered a microwave from Costco um, three weeks ago that was supposed to be here by now to replace it. It's a real low profile new one and um, that didn't show up and I got a shipping notice today that it wouldn't be here till the 30th so I just um, I got so mad because it was supposed to be here today and I just got so mad that I called up Costco canceled it and ordered the same thing from Home Depot. I got it for um, actually a lower cost and it's going to be here in two days so um, it just doesn't pay to buy appliances from Costco I think. They just don't uh, ship out when they say they're gonna. So there it is I got the hood out and you can see um, there was quite a mess on the wall from the contractor when they installed it. So I had to take that uh, wire and actually push it into the cabinet up above and put an outlet up there anyway for the new microwave that's going up there. And I was too lazy to patch up the sheetrock. I didn't have any pieces of the sheetrock around or anything. So I just decided I'd do it the uh, lazy man's way. And I have some of this aluminum HVAC um, tape. It's made out of like aluminum with an adhesive on the back. It sticks really, really good. And um, it's pretty durable. So it's one step up from duct tape. So I figured I'd use that just to patch over the holes just so that... Um, uh, there'd be no drafts or anything coming through there. And then I took that backsplash panel out to my shop. And I have to um, bend it to go around the shelf that's going up behind the stove that I'm making. So um, this was kind of scary for me because I knew that if I, I messed this up at all, um, I'd be buying a new one. So I kind of carefully used that little um, press brake that I got from Harbor Freight. I spent some time just setting it up and... I think this is about a 20 gauge panel. It's stainless steel and it's really pretty tough to bend, believe it or not. Really durable, nice material. So I um, I got the one bend in it. Now I have to make sure that this bend is really exact just to, um, to fit over the shelf that I have in place here. So this is one of those things where you actually measure five times before you do anything. So I just kind of went back and forth to give it a couple checks just to make sure I wasn't going to be destroying this panel and have to order a new one so um, I got everything everything lined up pretty much perfectly there and um, then it was a matter of just you know bending it 90 uh, little it's been a handy little um, press break here from Harbor Freight uh, I think it was only about $115 I paid for it years ago and um, really did a good job and luckily this uh, stainless steel had a white coating peel off coating on it so I didn't do any damage to it so I could just bend it without having to you know put anything under there or anything so I got that bend made and um, there you can see uh, basically they came out exactly perfect to the numbers and here's a plywood box that I had built for the uh, to go behind the shelf now behind the stove I mean now this is gonna be the shelf and it's actually gonna have some uh, maple ends on it that tie into the uh, backsplash from the counter so this here is a little bit undersized now and that goes right there it's all gonna be um, anchored better once I uh, get the microwave in place know exactly where that goes and then this piece that I just bent up actually goes just drops in there and it um, protects that that plywood from any heat from the stove or anything and then it just um the little shelf there for my wife and then that'll go up to the bottom of the microwave there so that worked out perfect and then the wife will have a place there to set some little trivets or to um you know just set some little uh canisters or anything and there you can see there's some the maple ends going to be going on there next um i haven't gotten around to that yet but Pretty much um, there, I threw the tops back on and everything just kind of put together temporarily. Um, they are coming to measure the granite uh, Thursday. They'll be here. And then Friday we have to go pick out our slab. And then hopefully in a week we'll have the, um, the countertops installed. So um, you know there's more videos will be coming.
and you know like i said it uh it did take me a couple days to do this and um but i think it was really well worth it just to make sure everything is properly installed and ready for the granite and it will give us some extra cabinet space i mean extra countertop space um that really will help out on our small kitchen and my wife's been getting good use out of that oven she made us a irish soda where the other day for saint patrick's day and um, so there it is. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.